Good day everybody, welcome to another video. Today's video we're going to continue working on the axle, getting it prepped, ready for PR15. That way after everything like that is done, we can start assembling it, do the gears, figure out the brake lines of course afterwards. Now I've had an awful lot of questions about this reboot plasma cutter that I purchased a little while ago. Lots of people have asked me how this is holding up. I'm going to tell you right now, this has excellent best bang for your buck, for sure. Like I said, when I bought it, it was originally over 300 Canadian. It had an $88 coupon at the time of purchasing. So I got it for under $300. And this thing is absolutely amazing. There were some issues at first. Um, I replaced the fittings in the air regulator. You might want to just scrap that all together and get a new one if you can. It only had one one use where I actually tripped the um, overheat. But I've worked it a lot harder since. So I'm not sure why it did it when I first got it. But ever since it did it the one time, it hasn't done it since. As always, this is a light duty unit for at home, in the garage, casual use. It's definitely not going to be something that you're going to use in a commercial building because you'd probably destroy it in the first first week if you're trying to use it all day, every day, kind of like thing. But for the home user who wants a plasma cutter, doesn't want to spend a lot of money, this is definitely for you. And I'm going to use this right now to show you guys again just how awesome this thing is. Now, in the Arctic 8.8 truss, there's actually two settings for your track bar. Now, if you guys have been following my channel for a while, I showed you guys the dangers of a track bar relocation bracket because this extra height was coming up and damaging my fuel lines, which could ultimately lead to fire. So I'm going to use this plasma cutter and I'm going to cut that top bracket off because I'm not going to utilize the top holes for the track bar. I'm going to use the bottom one because I'm custom making my own track bar. So I'm going to fire up the plasma cutter and we're going to make that work. I don't know how many amps I'm going to put through it. I will try 32 for that. See how it's going to cut. Might have to adjust it. See, look at that, sliced just like butter. Depends where you measure it. That's like a quarter inch thick, quarter inch thick. And that sucker sliced right through it. Reboot, 4,500. Under $300 Canadian, cutting through a quarter inch. That's pretty freaking amazing. Uh, 
I just cut that down so hopefully it's not going to be a hindrance. I guess if you really want to be creative, you could put a little arch in there to make it look a little better. I'm just going to leave it.